All right, boom, welcome back to another episode of Turn to My Podcast. It's your host, Oscar Daddy, Derek Poppy, Jameson Poppy, aka Switch the Pants, aka Just Playing Baby. I'm in a relationship. <laughs> another week, another episode, of course. Uh, I got some not so special guests back on the show. The good co host, Koti. Hey, it's your boy, Koi Kit. Damn. The liquor's hitting. <laughs> <laughs> the liquor is hitting. <laughs> no, it's, it's been a long week, but it's K O T I A N D E, Koti Andy. It's me. I'm back again. Thank you for coming on the show, sir. And we also have this thing, a case to the right of me. Alright, you already know who it is. It's Case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should I should start drinking the ketchup for these guys, but um so let, let's start let's start with updates. Alright, let's start with updates. Last episode we talked about um one fun question on silly shit. We talked about whether you take a million dollars or you take twenty million dollars, right? To refresh people's memory, the, the scenario was scenario one, you take a million dollars cash, scenario two, you have a hundred million dollars, but it's split up, eighty million goes to your worst X. 20 million goes to you. Everyone, I mean, to me, it felt like a clear choice. It's 1 million versus 20 million, right? Some niggas were saying otherwise, right? And to me, I feel like we need to have that conversation again because people are still in my comments saying, yeah, this is insane. Uh, I even had, uh, I can't say his name, but this person was talking about, yeah, Koti's right. Like, I would not take the 20 million because the strings attached. But then even him, he was able to come to the conclusion that, okay, the only reason I'm not taking the 20 is for pettiness. No, it's not for pettiness. No, but it is. Because Dude. it's like you're looking at your ex. No, I'm not. I'm Fam, not it's 20 versus head. 1. You took 1. And yeah. he said, I'm going to double it. I'll double it, triple it. That's what real hustlers do. That's what real hustlers do. Okay. Come on, fucking idiots. I'm not going to sit That's down. What you, you're talking about real hustlers down. take the 20 and flip that. What are you talking about? You Why would you want to tie your shoes together you, and you, make it harder to walk? If you've never flipped a 1, how are you going to flip 20? You figure it out. You have 20 times to figure it out. Versus one million, you only have one shot at this. So How does that not make sense? Yeah, it's not everyday long-term security, fam. Sometimes it's, it's <laughs> short-term, get at it, fam. What you, it's 20 million, fam. Yeah, fam. If you know what to do with the one million, you'll turn it into a hundred, fam. You're a He's fucking me. idiot. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck are you that's talking just, about? That's just me. Well, Anybody I, who agrees with me, you know? Shout me out. I'm team Cody on this one. Yeah, bro. You're going bro. to make that million into five in five years. I'll make the 20 into 105. What are we doing? 20 million? You know how to manage 20 million? You know how to handle one? Yeah, I, I'll know exactly where the one's going to go. I already know. All right, listen, fuck that. Let's get into the episode. <laughs> um, what do we have first? Papa John. Papa John is a wild ass nigga. He's Italian. He's the owner of Papa John's Pizza. Of course, you've probably heard of it. Um, he came out for some reason, unprovoked, came out by himself, said, you know what? The last few months I've been focusing on bettering myself. Um, the last 20 months I've been trying really hard not to say the N-word. <laughs> 20 months. This nigga said, I've been trying not to say it. How long has he been saying it if he hasn't been saying it for 20 months? Fab, I don't know, but like 20, like, why would you come out and say this? I mean, it, it depends. Where is he? Where, what's his story like? What is he? Where, where does he come from? Uh, Italian, I'm guessing. Italian and very comfortable when, like, you know, just talking about black people. Like, yeah, hold on. Like, is he one of those New York Italian guys, though? Like, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. All right. Then, then, I mean, you know that in, I mean, in New York, it's different, bro. Come on. What? No. Some people yeah. get a pass. We're not doing that. We're not like, doing like, that. Like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, some okay, people okay, get a pass. Okay, 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 He's not. Okay, what are you talking about? He's not from okay, the streets. All right, guys. You guys don't think that, like, if you guys have a friend, okay, like, that's not black. But the chills around a whole bunch of black people, okay? And those people throw around the term, right? And they include that person as if he's black. Don't you think that that person gets some type of pass? Mm-hmm. How does Papa more, John's you, get a pass? That's what I'm saying. I, it's just, there's two different... I mean, I, I, that's what I'm saying. That's not that, fam. Papa John's does not grow up in the streets. Papa John does not have mad black friends. He's Papa up. John is not saying the N-word is a friendly term, fam. Come on, bro. But fam, you, you dodged my question, though. I'm just asking... You dodged the situation, fam. I'd be, I'd be, Fab. Okay, let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. When you get older, you start to realize like that's not really the vibe. To be honest, like mm. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? It's to let people, to, or I'm not gonna be the one to give the, give you the okay. I'll say, yeah, if I'm go ahead, you can sit around me. I'll be like, yeah, chill on it. And then honestly, like if you're of that age, your friend starts to realize as well, like, hey, yeah, you're right. I am of that age. It's cool, whatever. But if it's another situation where it's like I don't know this person, but they have people that gave him the cosign, 
I can't go on this block and talk to his black people and be like, yo, fam, we're not going to let Aaron talk to it anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, that's his situation. I can't do anything about that. Yo, honestly, I was just playing devil's advocate, to be honest. I with could you, tell. Because, you know, Definitely. I was just playing devil's advocate. Yeah. But, I mean, this situation is weird. It's, it, he messed it up for himself because why did you even come out and say that? Like, <laughs> why would you go put that target? Man. You know, unprovoked. Like, it's not like it's an investigation. Like, you're just going to come out and just put a target on your back. You know, yeah. get, especially with cancel culture, how it is, bro. You just want to go out there and say that, bro. Like, yeah, I don't, that wasn't a smart move. It's crazy because it's like, it shows you, like, how comfortable he is behind the scenes, you know, with, like, how, he's, how he views black people. Yeah. That, that, whole, that whole notion right there exposed it. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I just want to get like a good audio clip of him saying it and treasure that shit forever, you know? <laughs> that's it. But that's a perfect alley oop to the next topic NFTs. All right, so go ahead. Yeah, non fungible funds. <laughs> you know, NFTs is something that's been it's been out for a long time, you know? Um, but it's also taken over the market. Like, it's it's like a new way for people to make money online. Um, you can literally take a picture of anything, you know? And it, and it, it turns into value. So, yeah. like, let's say, like, the, the yesterday, the other day, I was, I was showing the guys, like, Jim Jones was talking about how um, he was in a meeting and one of his partners took a picture of his chain, right? And literally had sent it to, like, a, a portal and where it was able to be, like, to go for, for, to, for sale. Yeah. And how he sold a picture of his own chain, the diplomat's chain. Literally sold it for a thousand, and literally like when you when you take a pic when you when you put up like your item on wherever it is the the, the website or yeah the portal whatever yeah it whatever lives, they yeah. use yeah literally like you have royalties to tie to it so like if it sells twice so basically like he had said his chain the, the first picture he took it, it sold for a thousand yeah later on it sold for five five grand of course because so, it's like it's limited right it's exactly like a resale it's aftermarket and what's beautiful about this is the fact that it's like the original creator gets a piece of that resale exactly, exactly. that is the coolest part about that shit to me. Because, you know, you see it all the time happen with big brands. Supreme, Nike, Jordan, anything. Yeah. You buy it originally for around 150 You flip it for 15 k Yeah. <laughs> nobody gets a piece except for the reseller. Exactly. But in this case, I can get money regardless of how many times it's sold. So that's a nice concept. And, and it's cool because I feel like him making $5,000, I think it's $10,000 now. Like, it's it, it's being sold for $10,000 now. Jeez. Um, it, it's like a get back because I remember when remember when they first took a picture of like the Supreme shirts yeah. didn't get anything out of that was it anything or was it a shit amount it was a shitty amount yeah probably because those shirts are worth crazy amounts it, you know yeah, like the Supreme Diplomat shirt and let's say let's say if, if NFTs were like were, were popping back then oh yeah yeah they would have cashed in they would have cashed in big time because those pictures are worth a lot of money like those are iconic pictures you know yeah so yeah, yeah. huh sell your show on there <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You can I do mean, that. You know, yeah, you could. Yeah, you can sell anything. But to be how honest. long? How long do you think it's gonna last, though? Because there's, there's a lot of money being. You know what I mean? I feel like it's gonna be like a hot flash. No, I don't think it's here. It's here to stay forever, man. It's crypto art. It's literally yeah. crypto art, man. It, it's, it's digital art. Yeah, digital art. It's gonna stay here forever, man. Because it's like, like now think of it. Like people don't even have to own homes to make money out of a. You know. Out of like a, a a confined space that they have, yeah. you know what I mean. You yeah. don't need to own it, you know what I mean. Airbnb, right. you don't you, you don't you need to own cars to be able to make money off a car that you're you're leasing. There's turbo, you know. So, right. you know, the world's changing. You know, people like ownership, it's like the turbo, fam. You said turbo. <laughs> we, we, I knew we were talking about the app. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate I you because I, I, I appreciate yeah. you for that. But yeah, like how people are making money nowadays is super different. You know, the world's definitely changing, and I feel like people gotta hop on this wave. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Boom. Uh, coming to America. Did we watch it? Did we not watch it? Do you like? I, it? I didn't bother watching it. Bro, I heard that it's a like bland movie. I actually didn't watch it. I didn't watch it either. <laughs> but I heard, I heard it was garbage. It, I, yeah, I heard it was trash. But honestly, it's to be expected. I expected it to be garbage. Give me, give me your take on it. How was it? It was trash. I was disappointed, but I wanted to stop it halfway. Why? Why didn't you like it? It was too cringy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It wasn't even funny. Yeah. I picture. I, too much. Man, too just, yeah. Right. And there's too many things going on wait, at wait, once. Wait, right. Wait, wait, so, I mean, funny well, we got to make it really African or something. Was going nah, on. Like, <laughs> it's too bro, it was, it was, yo, it's classic, bro. But, yeah. Yeah. Just, but do you do you expect that from Eddie Murphy now, though? I don't think Eddie Mur- Eddie Murphy's funny. Oh, oh, I was arguing with this nigga yesterday. I was just arguing with this nigga about this yesterday. I don't think he's funny. I don't think Eddie Murphy's funny either. Like honestly, his special delirious. Or was it called Raw Delirious? I don't know. But it those were Robert. funny. Yeah, there's, there's, there's some funny parts in that. But him as an actor, I don't think he's funny. Him as Donkey and Shrek, cringe. Him as fucking uh, 
Now you professor? Oh god. You know what I mean? I think the Chris Rock is funnier than Eddie Murphy. Um and Kevin Hart is funnier than both. Okay, you're a wow. No. No, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna respect. No, no, I'm, like, I'm I don't think he's right funny, but I'm gonna acknowledge that like he's broken a lot of barriers, you know what I mean, for a lot of people, so I'm gonna say he's still up there in his class. It's true to say Kevin Hart's funnier than him. So so no. so, so so who's funny to you? Patrice O'Neal, uh, shut Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle. Uh, is Russell Peters funny? No. He's okay. He's okay. You don't think yeah, Russell he's, Peters? He's yeah, funny. if I was fucking he's, 10 years old. Are you serious? Dead ass. No, what, okay. if, what, if his, what if his all his jokes are just Indian accents? I mean, so I'm wrong because you can't relate as as as, as a fellow black man. He's not funny. No, I think What's, that if you do the same thing over 10 years and there's no growth, you're not funny. I mean, it's my favorite, my favorite no, uh, comedian. Fam, we're, we're talking about here. <laughs> we're, we're like the thing is, bro. If you're going, you have to. There has to be some kind of growth. And funny is funny across cultures, whatever. That's the thing about being funny. Bill Burr's white, a white man. How do I relate to this white man in his forties or whatever? But he's funny. So what's your top three? What's your top three? Top three. Oh, that's tough, bro. <sighs> Dave Chappelle. Probably Martin Lawrence. Yes. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Martin Lawrence yeah. is an actor. Dave. Hold on. Martin Lawrence is an actor. I mean, is a is a comedian. My bad. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nice. So you can't have a conversation come about. On. Yo, come on, fam. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, bro. A lot of those actors, the black actors that you see, they started in comedy. Oh, comedy. Yeah. I thought, yeah. Just like, a, I thought he, he's an amazing actor. I didn't know that he was. They comedian. all oh. went to Def Jam. I don't know. No, no, no. He, yeah, yeah, he's, 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 a, he's a comedian. Yeah, he's a comedian. Yeah. comedian, yeah. comedian yeah. I like open doors to all show. these comedians, man. Yeah. yeah. Him, Jamie Foxx, those guys, yeah, yeah. Jamie Foxx, like I said, Jamie Jamie Foxx? Amazing actor. Com- yeah, but comedian? Yeah. He has one funny special, yeah. He's pretty funny. I'm going to need Based fucking security. Is, Jamie Foxx is not known he's as talented. a comedian, guys. Uh, oh, fam, you don't really know about the comedy movie. world, though, because you're telling me you don't know about Martin Lawrence, so... Ooh, yeah, because shaky. I've never seen a, a Martin Lawrence act on like Netflix or some shit, bro. Like, the Netflix, fucking, fam, yeah, Netflix. Netflix. These niggas were around the nineties. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean, kid? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? In the nineties, fam, we're two thousand and twenty-one, fam. Thirty years ago, that's where you're. You're gonna come on, fam. Who do you think set the path for people to be doing fucking specials on Netflix now, fam? The OGs. I, I, I worked tech support at Rogers in 2013, so am I still a tech support agent? For what? <laughs> Does that even mean? Like, so you got to be active to be considered in that lane. Nah, nah, nah. That's not, that's not necessarily the case. You're going to tell me all... Oh, okay, how many people... Because you're trying to shame me right now for not doing this. Thanks. So how many people... Let's do a poll after this. Yeah. No, how many people knew that Martin Lawrence is a comedian? What does what? that mean? What? That, fam, that's the stupidest... Respectfully, that's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life because that takes tongue polling a bunch of people about basketball. Have you ever heard about my Kareem reason. Abdul-Jabbar? No, who the fuck is that? Yeah, but he's fam, trash. Yeah, but fam, no, it's not because you're saying yes. You, you have put to. Him, we said top five, and then you put like Martin Lawrence like two. Like, what are you talk? What are you doing? Fam, you're, you don't know about comedy. Who's your top five, bro? No, time out. You don't know about comedy, fam. If you don't ah. know that Martin Lawrence was a stand-up comedian, fam. you need to respectfully leave the conversation. That's like me coming to you talking about ball fam, and saying, is it, he was wait, a comedian? And Alan Iverson was, was a ball player? But, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, fam. At that point, you have to be like, oh, fam, you know, I know what type of person you are. Bam, but stay fam, over there. It was my time, fam. Okay, when was the last comedic act by Martin Lawrence? I couldn't tell you. Oh, no, he was touring in 2013. Yeah, yeah. special when he was, yeah. All right, I rest my case. What's, what's your case? case I mean, I was, uh, you know, I was going to say if it was like the 90s, you know, then yeah. I was going to get at you. Oh, no, no, no. If it's recent, like that's 10 years ago. So yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that, that ideology of saying like you have to be active to still be kind of considered or even respected. Yeah, I did. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. You guys are going to love this one. Yeah. So, wait, hold on. We're actually, we're actually going to get there later, so I don't have to go there. Okay. All right, just remind me. Jay-Z. <laughs> Yeah, that's. I mean, but I have another hot take about that too, though. Jay Z and Drake, fam. You re- you already know how I feel about that. Oh yeah, Should we're we're, we're get, no no no. Nah, we have we have a few a uh, few topics for then. Um, all right, do we want to talk about? You guys didn't watch this, but uh, Woody Allen and Mia Farrow. You know about that, right? Yeah, yeah. Tyson's culture, you know what I mean? Also, some people are cultured, but uh, <laughs> Tyson's just active. Yeah, Tyson, Tyson knows everything. Yeah, you have. You, you honestly, educated, you have to. You have to. Educated, yeah, different we, cultures, we, stuff we like that. Right. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, okay, let's break it down. So what what basically what's going on is that they're doing a doc now, and they're actually going into detail of what happened with those two people. So Mia Farrow is an actress in Hollywood. Uh, she's about sixty some odd, seventy some odd now. Um, and then Wood Woody Allen is also he's a director. He's been in Hollywood of course for years. Like this guy's like seen as the goat by a lot of people, right? Um, but then he also had a lot of nastiness on his like you know like 
dossier or whatever. Um, so she, not seen this, so we talk about. He touched his like, partner's kids. Yeah, so Mia Farrow's youth, he basically like fondled them. I think married one of them. Yeah, he did. And like he till this day, like, he make them like be naked in front of them, and they yeah. did like weird shit where they just like they'll be naked and then like touch each other. Like, they'll exactly. Naked. And so was, was all of this documented? Uh, well, that's what. Yes and no. You know what I mean? Whole, like some youths are saying this guy is evil. Somewhere are saying like it's it's confusing. It's confusing. It's People are saying on both sides. But yeah, it's that's the weird. Stepdaughter, daughter, yeah, daughter thing? exactly. So okay. he married her stepdaughter, and till this day they're still together. And that girl that's married, she's like, no, it's not abusive. It's we were just in love. So there's just a lot of nastiness. You guys could check it out. It's on Crave or HBO if you're subscribed to that. It's literally just four parts. It's a quick watch. It's disgusting, fam. But it's worth it. You know. Uh, yeah. I, I don't feel good watching stuff like that because it exposes me to a lot of a lot of different minds and how a lot of different minds operate yeah. you know and I, and I, sometimes I just don't feel the need to like tap in into other people's um perception you know mm. but do you, why you think you're gonna be seduced it's not that it's it's like it's like <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, as, crazy, you know? as crazy as this sounds is like it's crazy. I don't even want to say it to be honest. You know. Yeah. What I mean? To me, I feel, I feel the exact opposite. To be honest, like, I, I love watching. It, bro. Nah, bro. It's like when you know when you expose your mind to something, and then now it's like whenever you you feel the sense of like being back in that situation, or like the movie that you watched, or the film that like you that watched. Fairy tale, like the it, exactly. Like, oh shit! Like what the fuck? Like, like you a Disney person Disney. actually, uh, this person's mind actually went that far. You know what I mean? And it's like, depending on the situation you're in, so yeah, some, things, some things might correlate or your brain might it's put like, two and two together. It's like R. Kelly's music. You know when you listen back to him, you're like, oh, he was making it about his 12-year-old in this one. You, you know? see what I'm like, trying to now say? This is the track's not the same. That's, that's, the, kind, that's the kind of effect that I, that I will personally um, receive, you know, when I watch stuff like that. I mean, that's different, though, because I feel like if you're watching a doc about what happened, it doesn't make me want to go out and touch kids. Like, that's just, that's just that, me. That, 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 same that, way if I watch a documentary about a murderer. It doesn't make me want to go kill people. Exactly. But the thing is just the, the thought of it. Like, wow, this person actually went this far and thought this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, actually processed this in their mind and actually did it, you know? And it's like, it's one of those ones where it feels kind of weird knowing that someone can do that. What are you, an empath, fam? Like, what are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, that's what it is, bro. Anything you process in your mind, bro, you got to be very mindful of that, bro. Anything you watch, listen to, you got to be really mindful of that because it does partake, it does take space in your brain, fam. It's good. It's good to the empath, no, fam. Anyway, uh, so let's talk about Harry and Meghan Markle. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> I didn't watch the interview, but I did see clips. Uh, we all know what the situation is. Everybody right? heard about it. Everyone, though. I feel like this one. If you don't know, you live under a rock. Yeah, facts. You know? But let's talk about. Are we really surprised that this old ass family is racist? Nah, man. Hell no. No. Nah, and I was saying that it's like it's crazy, you know, because like we always kind of forget that we're realistically speaking only like two or three generations removed from slavery right? how many just, years is the generation like 80 like that can't be right they keep talking we're not five generations we're not five generations like well, okay what I mean by a generation, generation like 100 years. Nah, thank, thank, yeah, a no, generation no, no, is 20 Tyson, to 30. Tyson, 30. Tyson, thank you for that because that's actually what I was thinking in my head. I was going to say a generation is like 80 years. It's 80 years. Like I say 86. I say 86. What the fuck? Google literally says Yo. generally continue to be about 20 to 30 years. That's what a generation okay, 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 okay. That's not a generation. Okay, okay. All right, so argue with is, Google. Is the stat, stat based <laughs> on... Right, is, 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 is the stat... G, G, G. Yeah. So we're about we're about five generations away. No, 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 no. Better word. What I was trying to say is we're about two to three lifetimes. Removed. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Slavery, right? So lifetimes, like yeah. Two to three lifetimes removed away yeah, from yeah. slavery. And yeah. we don't realize that, like, the there impact? are still people who grew up at a time where, like, slavery was still in a transition. Like, oh, 100%. Us, we're, we're, we're in a world where it's like, we know that there's prejudice, but it's like, we don't really, like, it's hard for us to kind of wrap our heads around it sometimes, but we're forgetting that there's actually a generation where they were actually the oppressors, you know? Mm -hmm. And. It's sad to find out that the royal family has that type of DNA. No? Yeah, but the, yeah, like you said, right? They're like 150 years old, so they were around for those times. You know? Yeah, fam, but it, who's that guy that keep putting on Twitter that like looks like he's dead? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Arthur or something? I don't know, but oh, that like, guy. 
maybe Philip. Yeah. Prince Philip. Prince Philip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga is old. He, he got into a car accident and now he can't drive anymore. <laughs> yeah, they, they removed this. They rebuked his license. Bro. He killed. He almost like killed somebody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, poor guy, bro. But yo, they, 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 they like yo, <laughs> he looks like he's still in the accident, fam. He looks like, <laughs> <laughs> like yo, but he's still in the, the royal family, bro. Like you do research on these guys, yo, they have like savage DNA, bro. Yeah, what a lot of inbreeding and shit they do that, yo, they, you know, they, to keep the, the, the lineage, lineage going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's like what? a lot of them are like kind of third cousins, fourth cousins, type. and that's why Megan was kind of frowned upon from the beginning. I think even um, what Harry's older brother, I forgot his name, but his wife. Um, I know what you're talking about. Uh, Kate, Kate, Kate no. yeah, Kate, yeah. yeah. Apparently, Kate is like a third cousin or something like that. The third or fourth cousin. Yeah. 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 You're not doing cousins out here, B. Yeah, Broski did did that. That like that's the thing. That's what's so weird. Like you you go to school and they tell you yeah inbreeding yeah royal blood and then you end up growing up and and then you get to a conscious age where you realize that they're actually doing that. Yeah, it's so disgusting. Heck? Yeah, but okay. So there's another. Points to the story as well. Um, Pierce Morgan, which is like a reporter that's known, of course, in that world, so. he super salty. He had a uh, he's been attacking Meghan Markle for like, a long ass time, right? And then a clip came out that he was talking about a time that he went on a date with Meghan Markle, mm-hmm. right? So they went on a date, and then at the end of the date, um, he put her in a cab. She went to go meet Harry at that party. You know, what I mean, we know the rest. So he talked about that. He's like, I really liked her. She just ghosted me. Ah, whatever. Fast forward 2021, he's talking about disgusting her behavior. Oh, how dare she talk about this? How dare she, you know, besmirch the family, blah, blah. He's Bro, big mad. Big that's mad. exactly what it is. And it's like literally a man came to him like, fam, there's no, why are you attacking her like this? There's literally no right or reason for you to be doing this, you know? And he's like, I'm done with this. I'm walking off the set. <laughs> he just he quit and everything. So yeah. he's really just salty, man. That's all yeah, it is. It's bro. crazy. Human nature, bro, is undefeated, bro. Yeah, you bro, know that, what I mean? He, he had that your beat anyways energy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 At his big age, bro. Can you imagine? Bro, honestly, you, you don't have no opinion to be given on a shorty to serve you, fam. Just roll yeah, with it, bro. Exactly. Roll with the punch, fam. You don't, don't come back in, in media and then, and especially if we know, like, you expose yourself a few years earlier. And then at the you know we go back in the portfolio and realize yo this guy doesn't have a saber you got yeah started. exactly <laughs> it's exactly what it is um, what do you guys think about the take that said um, Megan is being selfish for taking Harry away from his family wait what that's a take that's a take yeah it is by like, a lot of ignorant people on on Twitter you know it is a take. It's, yeah <laughs> It's a really stupid. What do you think about it? But I feel as though I feel as though you know, like she 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 has all the right to to do what she wants to do, you know, um, based on like the historical facts and stuff that had. Ha- I know there's so much more things that happen behind the scenes that she's not talking about. That's that's put it to this point, you know. Um, she's definitely doing things for a reason, and you know. But but the thing is, with with her actions, there's going to be a lot of backlash. You know what I mean? What From, action did she take though? Trying to leave, bro. Fam, that's not... That's both of them. What do you mean? Because what happened with Harry's mom and shit, he's tapped in, he knows that they, they killed his mom. But that's what I'm saying, but doing taking that risk, like, yo, it's life or... Like, them doing what they're doing right now, it's life or death. Brisky, I need a pour-up. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and pour-up, man. Why do you think no, it's life or death? Yo, bro, it's it's you can't play with the royal family like that, man. They're connected. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, they can do is, a yeah, lot of they things. They have a lot of connections. You know what right. I mean? They yeah, can yeah. fuck you up behind the scenes, bro. You, tormentation. I don't know, bro. The, 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 I'm the, just. I, I mean, the, the light is on everyone right now, so it's like, it's too hot to do right now. You know what I mean? What do you mean it's too hot? <laughs> like if if Megan Markle wakes up dead, we all know who to point the finger at. <laughs> nah, but they're gonna be doing some shit behind the scenes, bro. Like you don't even. I don't know, man. They already are from. They're doing the media shit. What? They're doing the media shit, like you said. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard something else. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's move into music, right? No, 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 fam. I got to take on this, bro. On Meghan Markle? Uh, yeah, All right, let's get it. I was just getting yeah. get ready, bro. That's it. <clears throat> he could just start to drink. So. <laughs> no, he beat the Obviously, in the eyes of the British, you know, Meghan's black. You know, well, and, and, and the funny thing is that she's not even black, black. Like, from what I heard, she's a quarter black, you know? Black is black. But, yeah. So, black is black, you know? Yeah. No, no, no. She's actually half black, so their child yeah. is actually a quarter black. Yeah, yeah, because her mom is black. Yeah. So, um, you know, she comes in, and they want to portray her as being that person that strayed, you know, the kid away from his family. But people are completely ignoring that Harry already had that type of, like, 
um, party black boy, sheep yeah, yeah. in the family type behavior. Mm -hmm. Like Harry was partying. Harry was dating girls outside the royal family. And the race. Harry <laughs> ended up yeah. marrying a girl outside the royal family. Harry ended up marrying, um, you know, a mixed breed. And she wasn't royal at all. And then he ends up like, so he broke the tradition. And then like Harry is the modern guy. Like I used to think uh, at first when I heard that headline that they had left the royal family, I thought, okay, yeah, um, Harry is a, is the black sheep. Like he he's, he's kind of you know like he must be the wild boy of the family. Like they have things established in the family, yeah. and he's the one who wanted to deviate. But obviously, after you end up hearing this story, after you end up hearing all the stuff that's happened to Megan, all the all the struggles that she went through during her, her her wedding, all the stuff that she had to deal with, like it was really tough for her. Like if you actually look at the whole interview, it was really tough for her. And then they went as far as um like having doubts as to how black the kid was going to be when he <laughs> yeah, was born. That was, That's absolutely yeah. ridiculous. You I know? mean, yeah. like she's not even of that skin tone. Like she's not like dark like that to be having those type of doubts. But because they're so trapped in their old school mindset, yeah. they legit even went there. Like they actually vo vocalized this, which is ridiculous. Like how could you believe that it's acceptable to vocalize such a thought to like your daughter-in-law, you know, yeah. to put that type of pressure on her. So when you hear that, obviously it makes sense as to why Harry was like, yo, you know, I'm going to be the man of my relationship. You guys are not going to have ownership of my life and I'm going to get out of the family. So with that being said, it's not, uh, my opinion has changed a lot over the couple of years where it's like, I don't, I, I know that Harry's not the black sheep. He's actually the real nigga of the family. Like, yeah. He's the one that says, you know, the black what? sheep. <laughs> you guys are not going to, you guys are not going to dictate my life. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it. You know? yeah. so, I, I read that. My piece. I, I, read, I read everything you said, you know, and, and one thing is I want to ask, like, are they, are they going to come to Canada or? Well, um, she's Canadian. Sure. I don't know. How do you feel about spending dollars when <laughs> the moms are behind? You know what I, I mean? I said that out of ignorance. I'm not even sure if that's right. I don't, I don't know if she's Canadian. But like, imagine, she's imagine coming back to, imagine fleeing the, like, imagine fleeing the country, right? Yeah. Escaping the family and then you go to Canada and every dollar you spend, every coin you see, you use. <laughs> yo, <don't laughs> you're never going to run away from that. Yo, Harry has a bank account full of pounds, bro. Pounds are, if I'm not mistaken, that's the most expensive currency in the world, bro. It is. More it expensive is. than Euro. It is. So, yeah. That boy's nice. They could go anywhere in the world. They're gonna live nice. You know? Yeah. And clearly, he's not. He's not about the whole rah rah. Like he just wants to live a happy life. So they're gonna be good. Yeah. You know, they're and plus, Tyler good. Perry's offering his house too, so they'll be fine. Yeah, the family. The, the family <laughs> is toxic. Really? Tyler Perry said, "Come stay with toxic. me." It's crazy. Uh, all right, let's move into music though. All right, so obviously, Drake dropped the three pack. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's probably going to be the biggest discussion of the episode, to be honest. Right. Actually, no. Probably going to see. We'll see silly shit. But let's talk about it. Three pack came out. Uh, charted tracks one, two, and one, three. Legend. That's legendary shit, bro. Legend. One, two, three. But let's talk about the Boy. quality now, though. Let's talk about the quality of what he put out. <laughs> Repetitive. Right, let's, let's, start, let's start with the first track, all right? What? Let's start, let's start with the first. Did you put that on that? The first track is what next? What's next, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, what's next? And then the... Well, let's start, okay, let's start the with the first track. Baby and then, uh, what's next? What's next? What do we think? Super repetitive. Sounds like something. Something. It's like it sounds like something. Uh, Lil Bo can can do. Oh, Yadi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like Yadi. Yadi can make a track like that. Yo, Cody, do you just hate Drake? Like, do you just have something? I don't. Like I don't hate Drake. Drake. I'm expecting more. I'm expecting difference. What are like, you expecting out of? Not this. I, I, not this, bro. I expect something else, bro. You're 35, bro. Did Come you? On, bro. <laughs> Did you? So, 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 because he's 35, he can't talk his shit. Yo, it's not talking nah, but shit. do it over it's, a better beat. Like, do yeah, it, have more energy in you. Like, come how on. much more energy do you need in what's next? Stop it, bro. <laughs> Stop. Listen, have listen, you heard nonstop, listen, Broski? Have you heard nonstop, Broski? Get into the Jetta. Turn up your bass to the max. <laughs> bump what's next. And tell me if you don't get <laughs> into the Jetta. Tell me, tell me if you don't have energy. Bro. Car naming. Listen, <laughs> listen. But the thing is, bro. Look, okay, listen to nonstop. Right? He wasn't yelling on there, but the energy was felt through the beat and through him talking. Right. Mm-hmm. Production. Where is that? And what's next? Um, not there, bro. It's there. It's, it's not, not there. It's not bro, there. He's talking his shit, bro. bro. He sounds like, uninspired. He, yeah, he's talking his shit. But I would have. It would have been nicer if there's more sauce. Listen, the thing with Drake is that. Oh my god. Listen, like, to, listen yo, to how listen, many times he says he, okay. He, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> I need so, to be 
the dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun like, fine. Even the beat's tired, fam. Yo, <laughs> listen. I, I try not. I try my best to not keep Drake music on repeat, just so that I get excited every time I play. Pause. So I wish, <laughs> pause. Okay. I'm fine. No, 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 no. Pause. 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 Yeah. I don't, want my, I don't want my Jamaican niggas coming after me. Like, Fire. Bono. Fire for that. Bono. Kingfish. Blowfish. Red snapper. Saltfish. <laughs> yo, listen, um, fam. I wish I could tell you the lyrics of what's next, fam. But look, we're gonna switch it up. <laughs> listen, that's what I was saying. You know, I wish that I played it a bit more. But yo, yeah. if you listen to Drake's tracks, right, mm-hmm. on the beat of like what's next, the thing about it is that it, he says stuff that um, um. literally. <laughs> literally depicts his life like he says real shit that's yeah. what i'm trying to get at like he's not rapping bs okay he's yeah his whole we'll, we'll get to that in the later tracks bro. but but just this wasn't it bro not for what's next i'm sorry it just wasn't yo it. listen he had um let me see 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 do you ever think he put out a trash track drake yeah personally no i feel like he has a lot of misses, no, no hit. Like, I mean, man, I, okay, Jamar, I'm upset. Oh, it's the liquor hitting. He has a lot of hits, r- rare misses. Yeah, but that's a rare miss. It could be a Do you remember I'm upset? That, so what, you're saying that that's a miss? Do you remember I'm upset, though? You're saying... I'm saying, okay... Upset? Yeah, remember that song? Yeah, but that was that was a clap back. That was him trying to do a diss track. Oh, that's not... Boring, whoa, man. whoa, whoa, what? For oh, who? Boring. Meek, that was around those times. No, 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 no. Who oh, was it? It is liquor hitting, I'm upset, I'm upset was for... Um, <laughs> I wish it just came out, bro. It was just a, a single. No, 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 it was, it was, it was, no, it was right after Pusha. Uh, right after Pusha. Yeah, Pusha, Pusha, Pusha. Right, right after Pusha I mean, dropped. Pusha. Yeah, he you dropped. You think him. you're telling me that I'm it's upset was a response to Pusha, way. and he makes it? He make the video in fucking the grassy. Where's the fucking correlation, fam? There's no way that was a single. He was trying to push that, no. It took an L, though. It was disgusting. It was the worst fucking song ever, bro. Uh, yeah. It was it was, tra- it was almost like this song. What's next? What are you talking about? What's next is not saying anything, bro. Drake is not... Yo, I've been saying this couple couple episodes ago. If people were listening, bro. Drake is not going to be saying anything anymore, fam. The music <laughs> no, no, is no, not... No, 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 no. Okay, I, that, I disagree with bro, you because he, he is saying... What is he saying talking saying. about, fam? How many money... How much money How many money? Yeah, he's talking about all his monies, bro. He's talking about... <laughs> all right, yeah. so... Come on, fam. Rated, so, black. okay... Okay, okay. I think uh, so. lemon, lemon. Yes, we're going to get nah, to it. We're, lemon, lemon, pepper. Pepper. Right, we're, so we're talking about <laughs> what's next. What's next? So, look, so, look, so, look. I was actually thinking that he got deep into what's next, but he actually got deep into Lemon Pepper. So, yeah. that's the track that I could really defend with wholeheartedly. But what's next? It's a mainstream track, okay? Like, Drake, you guys know that Drake is a guy that hits every single sector, okay? He's going to hit the deep sector. He's going to hit the um, Why? Ser- the lover boys. He's going to hit the, the mainstream people who just want to play something on the radio and bop their heads too. And he put, he put out three tracks, fam. So yeah. one of them ended up being something that you're just going to bump on the radio and slap and bump your head too yeah. and enjoy the, you know, the sound of it. It's not going to be too deep. So he's been doing this and that, he's had a history of doing this. And every single rapper that's been successful always puts out music like that every so often. So why are you guys coming from? I'm not going to mm-hmm. front. I'm not going to front. What he does there, is a is a brilliant marketing strategy because he just feeds his core clientele. You know what I mean? Like, how is that marketing? It's, it's, it's not- marketing because he hits like like his because you know how Drake makes different sounds, right? Oh, him him putting those three tracks out hit a different core audience. Every, all three of all three. Them, all three of them. Apparently they're leaked already. That's why he just threw them out. He like five albums of his leaked. <laughs> at this point, but all the Lucy's you have on Twitter. Those are probably gonna be on the album. Album. There's I don't think like, so. Like Lucky that. Lefty, that's not gonna be on the album. People have been playing it like it's a real song on yeah, Twitter all the time. Yeah. But um, oh yeah, okay, we're done with what's next. Let's move on to wants and needs. Um, that wasn't my favorite, to be honest. Little baby snap. That's what I'm saying. I was about to say. I've, little baby might have watched him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He watched him. He watched him. Yeah, I think it came out. No, 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 I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I like to be charted. Oh, I like that's okay. What was the bar he said? He's like. I'm not the GOAT, but I fit the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bigger the business, the bigger the office. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Baby yeah. did his thing. Did yeah. his baby, baby carried that track. No, no. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So, but overall, decent track, but Baby carried it. Mm-hmm. Move on to the next, Lemon Pepper. Mm-hmm. Lemon Pepper is where oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, shit got busy. From the sample to Ross being on it mm-hmm. to him talking his shit at the end. Now, yeah. It was, it was neat. There's a it was lot neat. that he, he's talking a lot. Actually, no, hold on. But before we move into that, wants and needs, he, he sent a blow at Kanye. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it, was like, it was a minor one. I was like, yo, yo, you know? I don't read it, though. At what this was, point, it was, uh, he said, he blew up on you? Whoa, what? Hey, huh? 
No, you just said something about Kanye not handling the truth. <laughs> I said like, no. That's what I heard. Like I blew out Kanye. Like, bro. Yo, fam, come on, fam. Yo, uh, what is yo the <laughs> liquor, bro. <laughs> yo, kids, don't drink. Dog. You start blowing niggas, bro. What's <laughs> what what bro you uh, do? I said he sent <laughs> shots at Kanye. All right. Because all right, he said, um, what did he say? <laughs> um, he's like, I have sins that I have to confess, and if I tell him to Kanye, he's not gonna believe him, right? So I feel like he's still hinting at the fact that he fucked Kim. Yeah, so yeah, I think yeah, at yeah, this yeah, point, yeah, you're yeah. still hinting at fucking Kim. Like, come on, man. I mean, he's sending shots, fam. I don't like it. Wait, all my ass here like the Lemon Pepper song a lot. Love it. We're, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Drake was talking his shit on Lemon Pepper, fam. <laughs> You know, but it's like it's like daddy right? stuff though. It's like the stuff that you said was like. Yeah, but because the I thing was is, I was at teacher meeting and they asked me if I knew Nicki and Beyonce. I said, I, I, thought, I thought we're gonna get to it, but it's fine. We're here. My we're here. Fam, fam, fam. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're here. We're here. Fuck it. We're here, guys. Fam, listen, 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 listen. Drake has always talked about either his future or his current life. Yeah. You know, yeah. and he's always been that type of rapper to put us into his shoes mm-hmm. as to what happens into his life. And yeah. Lemon Pepper. But was time, just, before, before you move on, isn't that crazy though? You can never relate to him, but you relate to him. Yeah. He has rich people problems, right? And shit, like, you would never live, like, oh, this woman is trusting me, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, I relate to that. No, you fucking don't. You don't. You, you will yeah. never live with you're you're Drake, <laughs> but Drake, Drake is smashing more shorties than you could ever think of dreaming of smashing them. So. And the type of... Come and, on. and he got he got all of them in every industry, bro. Yeah. So, you know, we, we he, he has different types of issues. He's not bored. He started fucking women that look like ants. Bro. You know that, the, the, the huh? fucking... No, you know... Listen, listen. There was a picture that came out of this girl that he fucked. Apparently, her ass was so fake, bro. It was literally this much of her thigh. I'm not even fucking playing. Yo, girl, ski, like, girl, she girl, dead ass looked like this. And it was like, come on. Listen, listen. And her listen. thigh is like this big. It's like, fam. At this point, Drake is bored. It's like, what's this feel like? Listen, <laughs> like listen, you know? listen. I know a guy who has a girlfriend who knows a girl who Drake is trying to haul at. Nigga, yeah, shut the fuck. This is Everything the most. Tor- this is the most Toronto credit I've ever heard in my life. So my friend's friend, right? His dad's uncle works with Drake's cousin. Listen, listen. I would name drop. I would name drop. I'm not famous. I would name drop. I would name drop. But y'all know. I don't know that many famous people. Yeah. You know. But I do have uh, one we know. specific. You know. So yeah. look into. I mean. And yeah. you, you, you just know. Fam. Talk about after the episode. Yeah. Yeah. Fam. Yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it, 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 it and, and and yeah, fam. So trust me, Drake, and and mind you, he be spoiling that girl just for the sake of it, bro. Like yeah. one of the last. He's saying this time. Remember little ten piece for her to go shopping. Yeah, ten yeah. piece to go shopping. Yo, fam. Ten grand. He'll legit, he'll legit get something and he'll just ship it out to like you know, thirty of forty of his things. That's what ballers do, fam. Yeah, fam. You know what I mean? Would you do that if you had like, the money? Though? And, and he says it with the love of money, courtesy <laughs> from Drake. Now Would you I mean? do that if you had the money, though? Make me feel all bubbly. I say do with Drake. Money, fam. Anyways, we're not talking about the woman that Drake <laughs> has. The, the yeah, point yeah. is that he was talking his ish on that track. Yeah. You know, and from the, the thing that I love the most about that track is that when Drake didn't get it, he was talking about how bad he wanted to get mm-hmm. it. When Drake got it, he was telling us how great it, it feels, great to, it feels it. to finally be there now mm-hmm. that he got it. Now that Drake has a son, he's showing us the life of a father. You know, like when he yeah. said that whole bar about I drop you off oh at lunch God. and then I come back yeah. and daddy made another end. That was yeah. crazy. Talking about he's coming with like a mad trucks. Yeah, Talking fam. about sending the, the child support to the mom. She sends a heart emoji. Yeah, Like, fam. yeah, uh, he's walking it through his life. I feel like he extended the track because he didn't want to get bodied by Ross. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're a Ross Dan. Yeah, yeah, so of course. Yeah, but yeah. You, think, you think Ross? The verse was like three minutes, fam. I'm like, yo, come on, but he went to redo it. Yeah. Yeah. Said, like, but like, like, Drake has those pivotal, he has those pivotal like what? bars, you know, yeah. songs. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like before Lemon Pepper, yeah. I feel like the song that that spoke about where he was in life, like like really, 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 was like Dreams Money Can Buy. Mm-hmm. But that was a different. Those year, are right? tracks. Those that are those ten are, years ago. Yeah, but those are those are tracks. Those are shifting tracks. You know what I mean? Like it was like it was like facts, facts. ten years, five. Years, you know what I'm trying to say? But that's like, the evolution. That's the only evolution is that he just started talking more rich. Yeah, yeah. Fam, it's, not, it's, not, it's not that he started talking more rich. He even said it in his track. He's like, imagine if I kept yeah, rapping about if I trying to make got it. it, you know? Yeah. Like, imagine, like he knows Drake is conscious. That's the sh- that's the crazy thing about Drake. Like Drake knows what we're thinking. It, that's what and I'm he saying. tells us. He tells us what we're thinking about him. He's so that's really good. Really crazy when about it. Because he's on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. yeah, when I die, Eric Canada said it's gonna be a bunch of fake people. That, you guys have to fly in to fake cry. I love that. I feel like. I feel like because he's seen, 
Nipsey, you see how Nipsey and Kobe went? Yeah, he's like, yeah. I'm trying to move like that. Yeah, the thing about it, he's up there. I'm like, he's up there like that. Yeah, the thing is, I was driving on the highway when I when I was like really taking in that track. And I was like, holy fuck, like we're actually gonna live that. Mm-hmm. This is like this is a prophecy. Like when Drake passes, he already called it out ACC. Yeah. And we're all gonna be there, fam. Kids gonna be out. I need tickets! <laughs> I need tickets <laughs> now! Kids, <laughs> 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 baby! Woo! We passed! Fainting and shit on TV. On TV 24. I live for Drake. If he doesn't live, I don't live. I'm telling you right now, bear man. I'm sorry, you bear man. Bear man, they're gonna get OVO tats. I'm sorry, right now. Oh, straight up. Bear man's gonna get OVO tats. If you know, you know. No, but yo, big ass like, owls in the chest and shit. It's crazy though, but but no, think about it though. Like, think about it. Imagine, <laughs> imagine the day, imagine the day that Drake passes, fam. Like, think about what the hell. Think about what he did for. Like, Canada. a lot of people don't want to give Drake country for giving Canada clout, mm-hmm. but my G, I jump on people, Americans. I, I talk to Americans. Like I talk, you know what I mean? If I'm on Clubhouse or something like that, I'm talking to a Mr. Clubhouse. They want to talk me yeah, at Clubhouse King. You already know what it is. You know, follow up kids right if you're on there. In the but spicy yeah, group yeah, chats. Yeah, yeah, So, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if you guys want to know what the hell he's talking about, go back to episode 53. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You guys will get the first part. Yeah, 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 whatever. We're not getting back into it. You know? yeah. well, well, what's said, what's said. But, you know. Like, um, I talk to Americans, you, you talk to them, the first thing they talk to you about is Drake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and, and it's no cap, you know, like, if they, if they, they'll, be, they'll honestly tell you, they'll be like, yo, I wouldn't know about Toronto or even care about Toronto or, 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 or look into want, wanting to vacation to Toronto if it wasn't for Drake. So, yeah. us having, like, Carabana that's, like, you know, exponentially multiplying with Americans and stuff like that. A lot of this is the, is the influence of Drake. So, of course. He did so much. For, for the city, our yeah. Con- for <clears throat> the like, country, yeah, you know, right. like even his affiliation with the Raptors, mm-hmm, you gotta yeah. you gotta think about it. Like, Definitely. Why the hell did he like when he got affiliated with the Raptors? It looked like a gimmick, but at the end of the day, him being on the baseline, you know, and chirping at these superstars, and they're actually giving yeah. him time of day because they actually fuck with him and stuff like that. It gave our team so much rep, like you yeah. know. So it's like people think of Raptors, yeah, they do think of you know Drake is embodied in that identity and stuff like that, and the rise of that and. So on and so forth. So, I mean, I think of Drake and I think of somebody that really turned up our city. Mm. Yeah, Facts. definitely. Facts. Indirectly, well said. Well said, directly, man. whether you want to admit it or not, a lot of people don't like admitting it. They want to deny it or whatever, but he yeah. turned up the city. You know what I mean? And he did up. He yeah. put it on, though. What do you mean he didn't what? put it on? What? Like Socrates. No. Like, yo, yeah, I was going to say Cardinal for sure. Those guys, Chocolaire. They, they put in work. They put in the 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 work. They were going platinum before Drake was it. They put yeah. They, they did was Cardinal. Bo- was Bo- Cardinal. Uh, uh, listen, I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not going to cap. No, I'm off the handy. I'm off the hog. But <laughs> off was, the hog. Yeah. Was was Cardinal really <laughs> shouting out? T dot the way that yes yes, yes. Yeah. because OGs of the rap game always shout out Toronto City you know Shaq Claire Cardinal like, all the time going to that lair you know but they're not he, they weren't doing what Drake is doing now yeah and it's a point where it's like that's what I'm saying like he just they weren't as yeah okay, yeah okay, he okay, took okay. it out a lot you know what I mean from listen like, Cardinal wasn't an industry leader fam Drake is an industry leader and Drake is an industry leader world's an ash. Don't don't. You were you weren't even there. Yo, you life. know you know what's crazy. Well, yeah, yo, you know you know what's yeah. crazy. It's a fact. For it's a, a fact. Long time too, which is crazy. But you know what's crazy? I knew Drake was a savage when he said when he explained the story when he one day when he was upcoming right. Yeah. Yo, he went to Yorkdale right. He was chilling with some things or whatever, and then yo, he seen Cardinal in the mall at Yorkdale with his big ass mink jacket every day. Yeah. Drake looked at him. Drake said, "Yo, I'm gonna be bigger than this guy." I said, "Yo, this guy's a sad." Like he this, told you that? Drake, no, 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 Drake explained the story. Like this is a publicly known story. He, yo, he talked about that. So me, me, like hearing Drake say it, and I'm like, oh, he had a killer mentality from, from time. Drop. Yeah, you have yeah, to. But, 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 you have to for the way you're they, dominating right now, bro. This is not just by fluke. Yeah, but hearing that story and looking at, like, but this is insane the way they, they, they like the team has to move. Yeah, the team has to move sickle, yo, bro. sickle crazy, move. Bro. One thing that one thing that Drake said. That really made me happy when, in, in one of his bars. He said that. Um, <laughs> fuck you, niggas, laughing. <laughs> you were just being a lip sync. Yeah, let's see what's going on. You know what I mean? Wait, 
Because he gave Weezy a shout out, fam. Oh, that was a yeah. fire yeah. shout out. Everyone's grateful for Weezy, yeah, but no one more than me, right? Thank yeah, you. yeah. So, so why am I happy about that? Because because you love Weezy, what, bro. Yes, exactly. And when Weezy got into when Weezy was dominating the game between like what 2006 to 2010, mm-hmm. the only reason why Drake was able to take off with the quickness that he took off with was because Weezy legit mm-hmm. put him hand in hand and said, "Yo, you know what? I'm gonna take you everywhere that I go." Facts. Every single like it was like, at some point it was like every single hit that Weezy yeah. was on Drake. It was, was him and Nicki. You know what I mean? Shout and he Nikki. did the same thing to they had that whole Young Money shit where they'd be featuring like <clears throat> fucking four niggas on a on, got a gun. On a R. R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm got a gun. Yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah. yeah, you know, they're all the other shit. That's a hot track. And out of all of them, rock, man. out of all of them, the ones, the, the, the three that were able to really branch off and, 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 and build from that were Drake, Nikki, and Tyler, you know? And yeah, it's, in, it's, in, it's, in, it's in that order. It's in that order. So yeah. Drake, domi- Drake literally picked up from where Weezy left off, you know? Yeah. And that was because, like, I strongly believe that that's because you got to see the worth ethic, you know. Yeah. Like if you know the, if you know anything about the rap game or the industry, niggas will tell you that Weezy is one of the hardest working guys out there. And when Drake says shit like, um, "Fuck," I was listening to this track right before I got here. <laughs> I've been making music while my my niggas out partying and they're just out there partying oh, yeah, to yeah, the music right. that I miss. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fam. Bro, light it up. No, nah, I mean light up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you say, you guys know why I was listening to that. Yeah, channel. yeah, yeah. So yeah, fam. You know, like when you listen to stuff like that, it makes you realize, like, yo, this guy is legit. Like, he stays in the booth, you know, and yeah. that's because he knows the worth ethic, you know. Yeah. So we've been like, talking about Drake for mad long. Yeah. <laughs> for mad long. Uh, do we want? Nah, let's not do the. I don't want to do the Jay Z thing. Fam, we're there, fam. Yeah. Fuck it, we're here. Yeah. Well, uh, what was our, What was it taking again? Yeah, like the take was. <clears throat> giving credit to people who are not active. Okay, so saying that people who are not active can still take credit in the rankings, in the active rankings. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's just how the game goes, though. Right. Um, like uh, it's basically saying like Jay's right, so always is still going to be okay, seen as a goat. So he's not rapping, but he can still be number one right now. Okay, not so like seen as a goat. So basically, earlier in this episode, if you guys heard, there was a time where Jay said that um, you know me and you <clears throat> vaguely alluded to people who. Are not active like we're talking about the comedians and we're yeah. saying Martin Lawrence. He's not active, mm-hmm. so he can't take credit for being in the top ten. Active, you know, mm-hmm. like, okay, like if, you're, if you're thinking of the top ten based on what's been done of today, it's difficult for me to consider Martin Lawrence. Because no, a was, top ten is a top ten. Period. All time. Okay, it's yeah, not, it's of not all about time. yeah, yeah, of all time, right? But we're basically saying uh, okay, the, the the take. Fuck what I'm what, where I'm going with yeah. with this. Okay, the take is this basically this Jay Z. I rate Jay Z because Jay Z is not one of those rappers. Despite the fact that Jay Z has put in so much work, okay. Despite the fact that Jay Z, we know who Jay Z is. He's not one of those guys that insist on constantly being appreciated as one of the top in the game because he knows that his time has passed. Like Jay Z is a businessman now; he's not a rapper. So he leaves it for guys. Jay Z is one of those guys. I get the vibe off for Jay Z that he's one of those guys that's like, yo, you know, the game is in good hands. Like he trusts. An evolution, you know, he knows the evolution is there. He's not gonna deny it, and that's why I rate Jay Z because you never see Jay Z out there trying to say some rap, r- random shit like, "Oh yeah, niggas forgot about me." Like, he's not making music yeah. anymore, and you know that, that's just the time. You know, he knows that Drake is the guy right now. So if Drake is hitting number one, he's not gonna throw some subtle shots at Drake to try and say like this, that, and the other thing, like some. Sometimes what you hear about Michael Jordan and LeBron James type shit, you know? So that's exactly, that was my take. That's where it is with Kanye, though. Like, Kanye, is, remember back when he was doing interviews a few years ago when he was saying, like, you know, it's Drake era right now. We know it's Drake time. He's number one on the radio. And it's like, but, you know, you can feel it and you can see it in him, too, that he wants to be still considered as number one. Because he still has that, you know what I mean? He's not all the way sure. Are you talking about Kanye? Kanye. 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 Yeah, yeah, but the thing competitive is, nature. Competitive Kanye nature. Cares about that. But the thing what? Is, I think Kanye, Kanye is, is Kanye in a bro. battle with Drake every day. No, Kanye, but I think Kanye just wants to be dominant in other. Do you know what Jesus? Kanye was? used to, bro in twenty eighteen. Huh? Do you know, you know what Jesus was? Time out, time out. In twenty. Do you like Jesus? Time out, no, time out, time out, guys, guys, guys. Time out, time out, time out. In twenty. In, all right, fine. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. Yeah. You know, no, definitely, definitely. But in twenty seventeen, Drake. I mean, Kanye had Drake's name in his mouth every fucking interview. Yeah. Every interview, and you can tell that yo Drake is getting, to, but it's like in his mind he feels like every sub that Drake has is towards him. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but 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 what I'm saying is his quality of music. In the record, though, he's not right now. He's not trying to compete with him musically. 
Mm. But you know why? He's, oh. Yo, he's trying to. Yo, Kanye. If you actually listen to what he's talking about, he's trying to be bigger than music. He is bigger than. Yeah, he, he is. is. He is, he is bigger than music. But yeah. the things he's trying he's to way he, bigger he than talks music. about, he's trying to do bigger shit than that. Yeah. All right. So guys, let's just put it out there in case you don't know that Kanye is the richest man in the USA. Black man. Um, he's richest black man. Yeah. Richest black man in the USA. My, History. Is that like yeah. facts? I don't know. I see it's pure fact. Yeah, yeah. It's facts. He surpassed Michael 6. Jordan. Six point six. Six billion. Yeah. Listen, he has surpassed Michael Jordan. And some other black businessman that I forgot his name of, and um, it's uh, this is a prophecy because at one point in time Weezy said that Weezy gonna jump over a jump man. So <laughs> oh, yeah, crazy. And they looked at him crazy. Remember? They looked at him crazy. Easy, yeah. easy, easy. Exactly. But he was talking about the shoes though. Did he talk about it's everything? Exactly. About everything. Brand. Everything. He was talking about, brand. We visited that interview with Sway. Mm-hmm. I felt what he was saying. He's yeah. like, no, I need to know how they do. He's like, why don't you start it by yourself? You have the money. He's like, you don't get it. <laughs> He's like, oh, I, I spent money too. What's the name of your clothing line? <laughs> like, I got it. You know what I mean? You yeah, guys should like, revisit that. I'm to merch. Like, yeah, no, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like those interviews had a lot of gems. You have to revisit right. it. Breakfast You're going to be able to too. see it. Breakfast Club, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what else interview I rewatched? The Dame Dash one. They, I, see, My son has cookies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that interview is fucking Dame's cool. a real one. I rate, I rate anybody that's able to speak their success into existence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? I rate anybody. That's why I have a lot of appreciation for Drake. That's why I have a lot of appreciation for Yeezy. Y'all can call him crazy how much you want to. Yeah. But Yeezy is a visionary. Yeezy has transcended. Yeezy has left a legacy. And he said that he was going to do this. Yeah. You know? So call him crazy, artist, this, that, and the other thing. But Yeezy said that he was everything that he said he was. He's a genius. That's why he looks crazy. Because he legit has ideas that we cannot see. And that's mm. a valid truth. I know? can see it. <laughs> Gemini season. All right. Um, all right. Next topic. So we have Brent Fias. He put out a sneaky three-pack. Trash. Uh, oh, no, we're not gonna. We put out, we put out a sneaky uh, three pack not. about a month ago. I feel like the ones that knew knew, but that bro, that project is really good. Brent Fires makes music for black kids who do drugs <laughs> and white girls. Come on, nah, bro. bro. Brent Fires, that's my hot take. Brent Fires makes music for people that enjoy R and B and people that have people uh, who do drugs and people and that also wanna, like nineties R and B. Yo, Cody, 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 Cody. Cody. He makes songs for tweets. My bad. No. My bad, okay? No. I dissed you on episode 53, but melodic rap is actually a thing. Wait, that was a discussion? You think, yeah. wait, you think Brent is <laughs> melodic rap? You see that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I, I just said... Listen to this. I mean, to a certain extent. Come on, man. Brent is... You know he started off rapping. I just found that out like a couple weeks ago. I yeah, he know. did, yeah. He, he did. started singing because like nobody else is singing, but... No, he's, he's a singer and a rapper, but he's been singing yeah, more... Than rapping, it, it was it wasn't until I heard an actual artist in the industry say the word melodic rap, I was like, "Oh fuck, Cody wasn't rapping." Yeah, but no, the project itself. Would you like favorite song? What do you think? I don't like, I don't like circles or paper shoulders. I don't, I don't like oh them. wow, you only like price of uh, price, Pri- of price of fame. Price of fame, I love yes. paper soldier. I love. The man as well. said, "Cause I'm a millionaire and I don't care." Cause I don't care. What the fuck does that mean? If I have to say it in the Brent voice, though, you don't have it. I, I just said it in the Brent voice. Son. Excuse me? <laughs> that wasn't my voice that I just imitated. Nah, fam. I'm telling you right, it's not even close. I don't understand people that say Brent can't sing. Do you think that? Bro, it's not about he can't sing. Like, what the fuck did you just say? Like, that had no substance. It's just... Eh, cause I don't you care. think everything Weezy said care. had substance? No, nah, but like, what, 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 what is it about Brent? What is it about Brent, aside yeah. from his melody that, 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 that you're into? The voice, the voice, to me embodies nine, the ninety yeah, sound. Yeah, I don't know, you, I don't, you, know, you, I don't, know, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about you talking about man's voice, bro. All right, we're not even talking about music, man. We're not gonna do that. I just said, what is it aside from the melody? I said, what is it about aside from the melody? And you yeah. said the voice. Yeah, broski. That's like synonyms. Those are not synonyms. Mm. Yeah, broski. Voice and melody are not the fucking same. What are you talking about? The voice is part of the melody. No, it's not. What are you talking? A melody is a melody, bro. Oh my god. No, no, voice, voice, voice is a voice. voice is a delivery. That's what it is. It's delivery. Okay. The no, voice is your voice. Voice is delivery. Is your That's what I'm saying. It's delivery delivery is how it comes out. <laughs> melody is a different. Yo, you niggas don't know words, fam. The, me- the, the melody is part of the, the, the voice, voice is part of the melody, fam. No, 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 no. The voice is part of the delivery. That's We're all right. hearing the melody through the lens of the voice. Yo, I'm not taking an L on this episode. They go, the voice they go, is part they of go the hand melody. in hand, but they're not the same thing. Exactly. What? Thank you. Oh, they go hand in hand, but fam, that's what I'm saying. It's part of it, fam. Yeah, they help each other. But it's <laughs> All right, so you're not denying what I'm saying, fam. You're reiterating it. No, you're No, I said it's part. Synonyms. No, you said the same thing. Yes. Oh my god, you said it the same thing. Yeah, we, 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 we,
That's like synonyms. Those are not synonyms. Mm. Bro, the voice and melody are not the fucking same. What are you talking no. about? The voice is part They're of the melody. Part is five. Come on, five. Okay. Yeah, listen. Listen, yeah. five. Brett yeah. has no substance. Mm. Oh. Come he on. appeals to a certain crowd yeah. that has to be in a certain mindset. He reminds me a lot of J. Cole. Whoa. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Aside from the fact, okay, I don't want to take a shot at J. Cole because J. Cole actually has substance, yeah. but in the sense that you have to be in a certain mindset to observe J. Cole. That remains true, so yeah, I'm not, not, how you want to, I'm but not that remains true. I'm not a huge J. Cole fan. Yeah, J. Cole's been gone for so long. I don't even know. He's like growing he's, out his hair. I don't know what he's doing. Yo, he's not part oh, of that. No, no, Brent yeah. Bren is not somebody I want to listen to in the middle of my day, fam. Are like, if I'm sad, you know what I mean? Like, or, 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 like fuck, bro. If you're sad, you're sad. Matter of fact, he's talks like he's in pain, fam. Mm, yeah, probably is. Yeah. You're, you, wait, you can't say this in being a fan of Tory Lanez, fam. Tory Lanez, every time he says, like, what are you talking about, fam? Every it's time fire, he talks, it's, it's, fire, being, it's, it's fire, fire, it's fire, it's fire, it's fire. But it sounds like he's straining his voice. Like I'm wrong? Yeah, but, but, yeah. but. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like shrug, nigga. Yeah. That's what I thought. Look yeah, at the corner, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. you time out, nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah nah, right. Nah, right, next topic. Tory Rasek is a pain too, but it's like, come on, fam. Like, Brennan is just. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the whole like pain R and B music right Brent now. Brent has to come up. <laughs> yeah, that's rude. Your niggas be going to shit. Yeah, yeah. Brent. Nah, I bet, yeah, honestly, I've been in that whole life. I love that. Club. Yeah, bro, I love, I love that shit, bro. Yo, pain, yo, pain R and B shit is fine. Yo, pain music, bro, is when real. You feel it, we, honestly, when you feel it, when you're listening, my nigga, saying? like, yo, when you feel it in real life, when you feel the words, <laughs> it's a show. <laughs> It, it meshes, you know. It's just like spider webs. the empath getting at it back again. That's real, though. I have a question. Hold on, you guys ever make yourself cry? I have a question. No, what I'm going to say is... Man said make yourself cry too. Come on, man. Make yourself cry. No. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I'm just asking, fam. Will you mean, I can ask questions though? Oh, How can you force yeah. tears? Now, if you're, if you're going through a breakup, allegedly, and you, you know what I'm saying, you listen to a sad song, and you go, you know what I'm saying, you go through the feels, so you try to get nah, out of your system? Not like that, no. It comes naturally, but it feels got to be... Cap, yeah, I won't cap. I don't think it comes I can't be angry making bread. Yo, fam. I won't cap. I won't cap. I won't cap. I won't cap. When I got fired from my last job, I was I was playing. <laughs> I was playing. Jokes was playing, on jokes on you. Yeah, yeah, I was playing jokes, <laughs> jokes on, on me. Jokes on me. I was only getting shit to. I was crying. Because <laughs> the <laughs> lyrics are so funny because like, it was so true to Kane. Because like, the lyrics said I was showing you off to everybody. Everyone said I was a joke. <laughs> jokes on me. I was like, damn. <laughs> I don't know, what did you say? I thought that you were the role, but the jokes on me. Yeah. yeah. You know, felt I. I felt that. I yeah. felt that. Bro. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. slime me dirty, bro. And I, you know, I was, I was, I was ripping them on. But you see me, I'm not even wearing no. I don't even rip that anymore. Exactly. Like, you know, if I was ripping that everywhere, and the joke was on me fast. So I felt that. I can relate to that. Yeah. It wasn't a personal breakup. It was a professional breakup. Yeah. But I felt that. Bro. A breakup is a breakup. Bro. It's more than a breakup. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to Giveon. Um. Yeah. Giveon dropped a. Uh, Honestly, it was it, it was an album. It was really just a compilation of the other EPs that came out, and he had one new song. I feel like. Did you guys listen? Anyone? I didn't hear it. No. I know that's it. Um. Yeah. Listen. I think it's really just one new song, but of course it's Giveon, so it's gonna be good. He has a good voice, good sound, you know. Yeah, he's a very like mature voice. voice. Huh? I like his voice. He's a very mature yeah. voice. Yeah. He has a very like mm-hmm. from another time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't match the beat. Like it doesn't. No, no, no. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's, 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 oh, I don't know. Oh, he made a track with Drake one time, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Chicago freestyle. He raps like if he has like a, a frog throat. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like sound fuck, but worse. Why do you like sounds? Yeah. I'm a sad nigga, bro. What do you mean? Sounds like that. Like, literally good R&B. It speaks to you. Yo, guys, I'm going to open up a GoFundMe to get Gilles to therapy. Bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, no. I literally, I'm not hurt, but it's like, I feel like we should speak to this, right? You don't have to be hurt to just enjoy that music because it's emotional. There's a lot of stuff into it, you know. It's true. It's nah, true. You it's have true. to be hurt to enjoy that music. True, yeah. think, maybe, I can't really. maybe I was hurt in the past, and I'm still sad. <laughs> maybe I don't know, but I don't feel sad, you know. So, um, all right, you guys want to move on to listener questions because we are moving in terms of time. But uh, all right, listener question, which you can send at ROTM Podcast at gmail.com or at the podcast page ROTM Podcast Two T's. So, you go to a spa with your girl. You get to pick a person who gives your massage. Do you pick a woman or do you pick a man? What? Cozy, go first. Yo, I'm going with I'm going with my girl to the spa. No, you're going by yourself, huh? Oh, by myself. Nah, I pick a woman to to give me a massage. Okay, same. Preferably. Okay. Again, I, I have my hands tied because I have a lot of Jamaican friends that be listening to the podcast. 
Nah, I mean, when I be dropping honest takes, bro, they be switching out my words. Yeah. You, you, you Jamaicans gotta switch up, bro. You gotta kind of be twisting everything into fire. For, it's like every time fire. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Alright, so this is my honest take, fam. Alright? I'm picking a woman, alright? Because mm-hmm. uh, I had a situation where I used to visit a physiotherapist, yeah. alright? And I, I purposely always picked the, like, women for massage therapy because I wasn't really comfortable with the idea of a man touching my body and stuff like that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, fam, the woman, you know, when she, if she has to, like, you know, like, when she's getting to your waist or your lower back or anything like that, you don't feel no way, you know, like, because it's a woman, right? Yeah. But, obviously, if it's a man that's going to be touching you up like that, bro, and it's not it, it's it feels very weird like you can't you, you're not really at ease like you can't really drift off into the same type of all right let me let me let me, let me, let me, let me add something to that though. you're trying to explain yourself too much yeah exactly <laughs> do it too much sounds to me like you know you got some experiences happen <laughs> no 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 because because i'll be honest with you because this is what happened so i used to have physiotherapy right and um i was did the woman for the massage therapy but then i had this one day where there was only the man that was available for the physio, right? <laughs> it wasn't a massage, it was for the physio, so he was basically helping me, like, you know, like, stretch, stretch and shit, right? What? And yeah. when he when he was helping me stretch, Fire. I'm not gonna oh. lie. Yeah, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, fam, you it's know what I mean? mean? Because he was using, like, man strength, fam. Burn up! Burn up! You see, you like the way he grips you, bro. Yeah. The firm grip, Yo, man. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, Frost, when you see this episode, I'm playing the Xbox, fam. But, yo, fam, when you, you know what I mean? It, 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 I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he left you speak late. <laughs> He, he did you right on my Yo, I'm not mean. All right, all I'm gonna say is that I realized that after that, you know, I realized that after that, that, that I should give, I sh- I, it was okay to give him the benefit of the doubt, you know? Yeah. I'm not sure about all those other male physiotherapists and whatever, but yeah. he didn't touch me no funny way or anything like that, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and it, it was a, it was an appointment just like any other appointment. So I realized that I, after that appointment, I realized that I didn't have to be, at least with him, mm-hmm. you know, I realized that I didn't have to be so hyper um, sensitive about mm. like my sexuality or, or feel like if he was going to violate me because he respected me and he wasn't doing anything that he shouldn't have done. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't think he would violate you, fam. It's his job. <laughs> nah, because, no, nah, some niggas will violate you, fam. Yo, who, nigga? <laughs> nah, fam, no, some massage therapist, fam, some male massage therapist, bro, like I've never had any encounters, but I can yeah. only imagine that there's some of them that really be out there trying to violate man. Yeah, I would never okay, take that risk, feel, ever. Sports man is different, because sports man, you're around that. Like, you're around, like, physiotherapists. Like, me, when I played football, I was around, like, coaches come in and help me stretch, you know? Yeah, fam, so that comes if you play it. sports, if you played sports, what I'm telling you, <laughs> stretching you out. if you played sports, what I'm telling you, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? It's not gonna, you're not gonna feel any way about it, you know what I mean? You're gonna have had a male help you stretch and stuff like that. Again, this was a physiotherapy meeting, it wasn't a massage therapy meeting. Yeah, yeah. Those are two different kind of meetings. I have so a question though, know, okay, you know? what if you're really tense, and you feel like the woman is not really getting to the, you know, the deep tissue massage? Would you then say, I need another woman to come in? Or would you say, like, yo, I need the guy? No, nah, because the women, usually have a, the, the, the women usually have a firm grip. You know, they usually have a firm grip. And they know how to get out the kinks from. So, okay. I mean, I, 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 had, I had my little, what's it called? She was like Ukrainian or some shit, bro. She, she, had, she had those techniques, fam. All right. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Stop sleep shit. <clears throat> Shots up. Shots up. Was last empty? Mind you, I had a cup before the episode. I had a cup during the episode, and we hit in the third cup right now. Is that oh shit? I put too much for you, man. You got to do shots too behind the camera. Anyone? You already got my shot. Here. You got yours. Straight, straight, straight. You good? Yo, I'm not getting a camera. You gonna cut that? Uh, nah, yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna cut. Uncut. Man. All right, cheers. Cheers, bro. Bruce Bannon. Yeah. By the way, guys, Cody tried to say that he drinks more than me. I poured him up some Hulk and he washed it all down with some mango juice. So. Yo, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> trust me, I'm drink champs. But that's my, new, that's my nickname, you know, after ours. Nah, you niggas run out. No, when we got bottles around and everything, I'm drink champs, real, man. Nah, 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 n
You know, he's summer twenty one. Where do you think Jameson yeah. probably came from? The, no, the name. <laughs> Jameson. Exactly. Like, don't even rock with Jameson no more. We're not gonna Zello. get into that. Anyway, all right. First item on silly shit. How do you um, claim Jameson? Uh, first Jameson. item on silly shit. So we have. Let's see. Would you let Salt Bay drop a piece of steak into your mouth? What? <laughs> Would you let Salt uh, Bay? You know, you know the video at the restaurant. The guy who does a. The guy? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Why? What? That's his thing, fam. He does, you know what I'm saying? He chops Why it up. Why the hell would I let a next man drop shit into my mouth, fam? He's <laughs> getting mad, bro. What's yeah, going on, fam. bro? Yeah, fam. That's his thing. He takes a sword, drops it in people's mouth. But why would I volunteer for that, fam? You're not volunteering. You're, if you're at the table, you're going to get the meat. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I'm passing. <laughs> this guy said the meat. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Yo, fam. But, Pause. Did you see that video that came out, though, of the girl and the, the guy? Like, there were a couple, obviously. They're at the, the restaurant, and then um, you know, Salt Bay was doing his thing, salted the meat, everything. He dropped it over Shorty's mouth. Oh man, the way she anticipated the way she it. Was, yeah, she, oh. bro, why was she doing that? And bro. then she took it and she looked at him a certain way, and she's like, she smiled, she ate the meat, right? Her manager right next to her, like the way she ate it, she didn't put it in her mouth. It was like it was, it was uh, hanging out the mouth, like yo, bro. <gasps> mm. How okay? What would you say if that was your girl? What's the conversation gonna be in the car? It's a firm yo that we in the restaurant, bro. Blay, I'd be. I, I put my hand behind the neck like yo. Whoa! <laughs> hand behind the neck. What's <laughs> going on? I turn that soft. Like, 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 yeah. Nah, nah. But soft, it'll be like a soft. It'll be, it'll be soft. You know what I mean? But I let her know like yo, babe. Like, like, like nah, nah, nah. It's one of those. Soft firm. That's a soft firm. Like yo, babe. Like yo, you know what you doing right now? Like. You know, Gee, this ain't like, making no sense. I'm not letting her. I'm not. I'm not addressing that in yeah. the whip. I'm not doing that. I'm addressing it in the whip, fam. Because you know she's having fun. <laughs> Meat in my mouth, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so get in the car. So, so, the steak was good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, you were not on the steak. Looked delicious the way you took it. I'm just saying. So you let her. You let her. I'm letting it simmer, fam. In the whip. You you talk about in the whip. Yeah, yeah. Yo, man, I just enjoyed it. You let her go so into the wheel. Like, yeah, because you're in the mood right now. It's an Uber you're outside. Grip right? your neck, say, yo, yo, what's going on, fam? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. are you doing? Because you just literally pulls up like this, and you get her into the whip. Yeah, it's so you're fucking with that. <laughs> exactly. So what was literally it? like? Uh-huh. No, you what's can't. You can't have that approach, <laughs> fam. You can't have that approach, bro. The meat was really good, though. Fuck, fam. What kind of question is this? No, nah, nah, nah. We're not having that, bro. Yo, that's being addressed at the table, fam. At by gripping her neck? Not gripping her neck. It's softly, bro. There's no such thing. That's like a it's soft slap. Not, fan. No, it's not about? that. You just, yo, hey, what are you, you doing? Put your hand, you put your hand behind her neck. You let her know, yo, baby, kind of wild right now. You know what I'm saying? Like that looks crazy. Yeah, that looks huh? That looks that crazy. How does it look crazy, bro? What? She took me. You're talking about. Yo, you good? Not like that, fam. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta do it. I, I won't. You know, you're not well, a lady. That, that fam, makes so people at the table really... all comfortable. Like, oh, is she beat at home? Like, How does that beat her home? Fam, you grab her. If I beat her, then it'll be, it'll be well, something why, else. Why, 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 it'd like be angry, different. Yeah. It'd be different. Yeah. So, but yeah. I, I didn't beat her. He's going to regulate the show by gripping your neck, fam? Yeah, yeah. softly. Yeah, yeah, softly, like, softly why, but, What is that? Neck, yeah, that's why. Huh? So what is that? What is yeah, that? Like, the flashback to episode whatever when uh, we talked about Shorty getting draped up. He's like, that was nothing. He's like, he didn't grab her collar. Yeah. Bro, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, I would address the issue. Right there and then, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Say, say that's the, that's the, 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 what's, the, what's that word that they say? Like the, the cold word or something like that. There's a term that they use for that, fam. Gaslighting? No, fam. No, trigger like, warning? Yeah, fam. Trigger, yeah. Like, just, <laughs> you're that, yeah. Like, like when I grip your neck, you know, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. It's not that, it's not that, it's not that. It's, it's, like, just, it's just, you know what I mean? Like. Yo, me personally, you like that guy grip, fam. <laughs> just no, it's not <laughs> very fam, She man. goes like, yo, what's <laughs> <that>? <laughs> she spits the meat at your dad. What's going on? No, That's abuse, dad. It's not that. Oh no, oh no, I don't want to. My husband said I can't have this. <laughs> Cody didn't say anything. <laughs> It's not that, bro. It's respect. You oh, know what I'm saying? Like, yo, <laughs> look, look at the nigga. Look, now, look at the meme, though. The nigga's all oh, over internet bad, looking bro. crazy, you bro. Bag, but you're in a restaurant and you see a man grab a shirt by his <laughs> 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 That's going to be a meme. If I'm right beside it like this. You can't take all these faces. What's going on? That is wild, If I'm right beside it like this. I, yo, I, you know what I mean, yo, babe, like, yo, you know what I mean, like, I'ma look at you, like, I'ma look at you, and we'll, and you know, hey, babe, what are you doing? Nah, cause you're honestly late, like, yo, hey, babe, you good? You got me having it. Yes, babe, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. She just said to apologize for the reason. 
no. <laughs> you already know what's gonna happen in the car. You're about psycho on the hot seat. Go to your wall. Literally, you got plays, bro. You get the, like, yeah, I... Yeah, I've played, I've played, I've played. It's not even that, bro. So you would, so you would take this in. So you let everybody in the table or whoever it is uh, taking advantage of the clip and then <coughs> having you and the internet looking crazy, bro, without addressing the issue. I no, think you look crazy. So you're going you're gonna to go home? You're going to do it with, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're yeah, in, a, in a car? Yeah, I think you only look crazy if you're gripping the neck, to be honest. I think that if it were to happen, like, I did that I'm not, case, yo, fam, y'all taking it out of context, but it's not gripping it like, yo, fam, like, it's some toy or some shit. No, fam. Even tenderly, if I'm still. Not yeah. even, it's, not, <laughs> it's, like, it's not even. We're at the table, honey. Yeah. No, Get it it's, together. It's it not like, even whoa, that. It's not even whoa. about tenderly. It's just yo, how you you know you know sometimes when yo so, I don't know like family members or anybody you love you know what I'm saying yeah. does something out of character in public. Oh, sometimes yeah, you gotta yeah, give yeah, the yeah. eyes. Sometimes yeah. it's like yo, or they're, they're talking that's out what, of that's very they're talking out of, when they're talking that's out of like, character. You get the <laughs> yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta let them know. Like, it's different. You your, like I feel like you and your girl. Y'all gotta have those, those, those. You know what I mean? That, that sign language. You know those game, those card games. Yeah, yeah I know. What you mean. Uh, I know. What you, I know what you mean. You know what but, like, but if you uh, veer these, off, like you got already also... knows how to act, so you don't even gotta have those in public. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But and she and does that. She, no, no. But she does that. Exactly. If she steers uh, off. Now what do you do now? I'm bringing up after. Yo, imagine, imagine she missed, she missed the meat, fell, and you picked it back up and put she, she, she ate it up. Man. What is this fantasy? How would you, how would you react? No, no, no. Be honest. Be a case. Nice. Nice case. Nah, nah. One last case. 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 What would you do, fam? What you do? The, the meat, the meat hit her lip. It came down. She went bad. You know what I mean? Like, what are these noises? Nah, I'm being serious, bro. This, this is a porno now, man. Is, How is that porno? This is not a restaurant anymore. If the nigga missed, if the nigga missed. Whoa, missed what, fam? Putting the meat in the mouth, fam. All right, man. Listen, 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 you know, he'll be like, yo, like, I'll be like, all right, cool. I don't know, man. That's some beta man shit, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Sad. <laughs> the beta man shit is choking your wife at the table, man. What are you bro, talking about? Beta male what? Shit. Yeah, we're not, we not having that, fam. Okay, anyway, all right. So, someone offers your girl 50K for a kiss. Would you be mad if she doesn't? <laughs> nah. $50,000 for a kiss in the mouth. For a kiss? That's an investment, though. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm a hustler, fam. I'll roll with that. You roll with it? All right. All right. Let's say she didn't consult you. Until after the mm. fact. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where she's like, oh, I got 50K. For all, this guy told me to kiss him. I kissed him, boom, we got 50K now. For a kiss? Yeah. I'm a hustler. I'm a roll with it. Okay. Don't you want to be consulted, though, before it happens? No. <clears throat> no? I all mean, right. I mean, again, you know, if it limited itself at a kiss. Yeah. Okay, shit. okay, next day, uh, or next no, week. No, no, 15 no. million. No, I, no, This guy no. told me to suck his dick. No, no. no. <laughs> you're cheating. You're, you're taking it too far. But she's like, wait, she's like, wait, but last week it was cool because no. 50K. Now we got 50 million. No. What do you mean now? You're a hustler. <laughs> <laughs> you see? You're a hustler, man. It's 50 M's, man. That's on the table. For you me... Use my words against me. We're not doing that. No, we are. But for me, it's different because it's like, bro, if you're going to do that for money, bro, you can be bought. You know what I mean? It's like, at least try to... If, I respect you consulting me. Like, yo, this guy sent 50 kids. It's a lot of money. Should I do it? Blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, I don't know. You know what I'm I mean? on that short term mentality, uh, fam. I'll flip that 50K, fam. I don't need the rest. Actress, <laughs> she gets 50K for doing she's not an actress, she's actually regular. But that's not. But what I'm saying in the standpoint, oh, okay, okay. if she's an actress and she gets paid for a kissing scene, it's the same thing. It's just it's a different trick game. This thing is not an actor though. He's just a regular nigga, you know. Yeah. So no, we're not right. regular. We're not regular people here, fam. Everybody watching girls, this, girls we're not regular goats, people. Young goats, young goats. Like, like, girls this is true. For Texas, yeah, it's the same yeah. Thing. It's like. My girl tells me she's like, yo, I'm a Texas guy. I'll get money from him. Like, okay, so what if your girl, your if your girl, if your girl's making money off a guy that wants feet pics? Oh yeah, do your thing. All right. But that's not... Because well, you, you had a conversation. Though, yeah, exactly. We had a conversation. I don't know, fam. I don't think she'll come to me like, know, in two weeks after her inner feet business and come like, hey, I signed a booty pic and I got 50 racks. Like, You see what I'm saying? Oh, that's what I'm saying. about feet business. I'm moving to booty. What's next? You see, you know? that's what I'm saying. You can't let that. Yo. I mean... I'm showing you, fam. You got to show... Yo, you got to put bars up, bro. If you're going to go in you with the mean? straw man theory, if you're going to go in with the straw man theory and start thinking that one thing is going to lead to another, yeah. then obviously, you know, but again, if you have trust in your person, you yeah, know, yeah. you got to know the and trust me, I tell you that, you know. 50K for a kiss, bro. Like, for me to have a shorty, bro, it must mean that I trust her. I mean, so, if she if she's there, fam, then that means that <coughs> she, she don't know how the program goes. Okay. All right. Uh, next item. What do we have? I don't know what the limits are. Um, <coughs> I mean, it's still kind of on topic. What if your daughter bought you a crib off OnlyFans? Would you take it? If you're what? what your what, daughter what? bought you a crib off OnlyFans money. First of all, my daughter's not buying me a crib. 
Okay, well, what she did. Yeah, what type of what type of father am I? What type of father am I for for my daughter to? Why why does she need to buy me a crib, bro? I'm buying her a crib. Come on, bro. She's me though. Yeah, she's up. She's like, you know what? Here's a house in the Bahamas. She wants to gift you. Bro. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I'm a wrong person to ask for this, bro. I'm gonna raise my kids with principles. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a flourish and, and have some generational wealth. I'm speaking this into existence, and my kids are not gonna <coughs> need to do stuff like OnlyFans. So, cool to you. This nigga, bro, you fucking looped yourself. Out. It's a scenario. Obviously, it's not reality. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, this but, is your way of not answering the question. Yeah, bitch. Alright, cool to you. What are you saying? She, my daughter, buying me a house. Yeah. Off OnlyFans. Off OnlyFans. Yeah. I don't... My daughter buy me a house. I don't <laughs> repeat, it, repeat it one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't know about that, to be honest, you know? Yeah. Like, accepting it as well, too, like, no. Nah. It'd be more like, you know... I, I, to be honest, I don't. I wouldn't accept it. Like I don't. I don't see. I, like Why is it that I would I don't. No, it's not private. I don't see my daughter buying it off me a house over it. Like you know what I'm, I don't know. Why though? Cause it's like I wouldn't be in the future. I won't lie. Like I wouldn't be in need of like. Yeah, so it's pride because you're saying I don't need it. You feel like if somebody's buying you a house because you. No, I feel like my, if my daughter and my daughter would know she buy me something else. else you know? If my daughter is the one to buy me a crib off of OnlyFans, that means that I did things wrong in my life, huh? You raised a hustler, fam. No, bro, not okay. Really. <laughs> no, but listen, because now, because not bro. everyone can buy a house off only. I'm getting tired of this guy's really trying to use my words against me, bro. <laughs> what are you gonna do, <laughs> fuck, man? But no, real talks, like real talks. No, listen, I did something wrong in my life. If my daughter has to be the one to buy, okay. Like, if it's my second or third crib, again, unnecessary. I don't need this. I already have yeah. a crib. You don't if this is my first crib, then that means nah. I really did shit wrong in my life. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did shit wrong in my life. Yeah. How did she come good up family. and have to do OnlyFans to get me that crib? That's crazy, bro. I, I did not do a good job as a father. Listen, Sorry to also, all the girls who are buying cribs for their dads off of OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? The thing is, not everyone can make that much money off OnlyFans. If they, to, honestly, listen, for you to make that much money off OnlyFans, you have some hustler in you. Yo, Reckon, a lot of girls have these, you know, but they're not in the top 0.1% earners. Yo, shorties, shorties the open up, shorties the open up OnlyFans know how it is to be a local rapper. You know? It's not until you open up OnlyFans that what? you know what it is to be... A local rapper, a local drug dealer, and have to build your whole program up from the scratch, yo. Because they be thinking that they're going to go up there and pop their pussy, fam, and earn money, fam. And they're, <laughs> out there doing, they're out there doing the most, fam. And they have five subscribers, it's dog. Worst. That are sending That are sending their footage to all their niggas for free, fam. This yeah. is horrible, dog. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't be me, though. Uh, all right, final question. I got to go for shorty, so I snap the video with only fans. Which celebrity do you think you can pull right now? <laughs> Mm, what? Which celebrity do you think you can pull right now? That's a good question. Rihanna. <laughs> you know, I yo, respect the answer. <laughs> yo, respectfully, yeah. put me in front of Chloe Bailey. Ooh. You know what I mean? <laughs> Chloe, Chloe, Chloe Bailey, Bailey Chloe Bailey is fire. Let me, let me, She's from Chloe and Halle. No shorty in my life, fam. Chloe watch. Bailey, fam. Come no, around, black. fam. Black. In a dream world, fam. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, she, she's getting pulled. Easy, crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying. Wait, are you nuts? I can tell. Yeah, that's my celebrity crush. I can say that because I know I'm never going to get it. But you know, that's my celebrity crush. Who is my celebrity crush, bro? You know, I'll try to pull Salma Hayek. <laughs> Salma Hayek is fire. But right now, who I think I could pull? It's SZA. <laughs> nah, SZA, SZA. SZA is fire. SZA is a fucking liar. All right, you know, she's a big. Fire. There's a whole thread on Twitter about how many times she lied. She said she had freckles. She doesn't. She said she's never had a TV in her life. She has pictures of TVs behind her. Like there's so many lies that unnecessary. Yeah, I, I feel like she's a little bit crazy, you know. She is, bro. She has but, to. But be. Yo, those are the ones, though, fam. Yeah, I mean, might be so, on yo, something. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. It, yeah, it's SZA. SZA fire. Yo, SZA's fire. SZA, Justine Sky. Oh. Just these guys fire. Yeah, I'm gonna say Mariah the scientist. The next, not, the next R&B girl. Who's fire? We're talking about who you can pull. Yeah, yeah. Who got, that's what I'm saying. Who got pull? Yeah, SZA, Just these guys. So how are you gonna pull a bar, fam? I feel she likes a hundred. Yo, fam, there. we don't, we don't have no money, fam. We're not playing either. That's what I'm saying, like. Well, okay, that's what I'm, okay, you're in a room with her right now. World. Money in an ideal world. world fam. Money, money aside. Money aside. Ideal money aside, world. Bro. No shorty in your life. Know what I mean? Like you're just dreaming. I mean, if you're a celebrity and you have no shorty in your life, that's what it is. But we're saying she pulled up right here, bro. We're talking to her, you know, she's with it, bro. We yeah. pull her or what? Yo, what's that other R and B artist? Um, oh 
my god, I forgot her. She used, she used to be in a group. She's by herself now. I forgot her name. What song did she sing? Bro, she made a song with this guy. Remember that guy that looks like you? Stop. All right, bro. <laughs> First, this yeah, is yeah, um, not Pink Sweats. Right. Not Pink Sweats. Not Pink Sweats. Not Pink Sweats. Not Pink Sweats. Yeah. Um, the next dude, he looks like you. Sanfo. No, man. Yo, bro. Oh, man. Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, he has a box cut. Yo, she has a beard. Khalid? Khalid. Khalid. We made a song with... She made a song with Khalid. Wait, is she... Where, where, Naomi... Where is she? The, oh, fuck. Oh, 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 she... Oh, that action picture. That's a good fucking choice. Oh, uh, what's her name? She was in Seven Harmony. Yes! Yes. What's her name? Shorty, that's bad. Oh, my so gosh. No, um... Oh, well, I know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? She was in Seven Harmony. And then she she's putting out singles by herself. That's a good pick. Koti. I think I know you're. Koti might have won this one still. I won. Yeah. 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 I gotta switch that up real quick. Hold up, bro. We're gonna do the research on the back end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seven. I'll put I'll put her picture up for sure. Harmony. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. What the? Seven Harmony Music Group, man. Eh? Yeah. I'm looking for. It. I'm not finding it. Oh my god. You find it? Neither am I. Am I saying the name wrong? Is it not Seven Harmony? No, I don't think it's right. I forgot, bro. Okay. Fifth Harmony, my bad. I'm fucking up. Damn, that's that's fifth Harmony. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Her name is... Normani. 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 Yeah. Normani. 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 Normani would be number one. Yeah, Normani, Normani, what's be, her name? It'd be, it'd, be SZA. it'd be Normani first. Normani would be my pick. No, Normani would be my first pick. Yeah, it was. Honestly, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. But, uh, yeah, this has been another episode of Trend Map Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys could keep it down on the set, that would be amazing. Thank you. Uh, if, plug whatever you want to plug, where they can find you, where you're going to be, stuff like that. Hey, it's uh, you can follow me at Kotiande, K-O-T-I-A-N-D-E. Um, if you're looking to upgrade your, your spices in your in your cupboard, you know, you can also look at Pity Pity Spices. You go on Instagram. We got a website as well, too. You can order online. Feel free to take a look. The spices are amazing. And yeah. just upgrade your spice game, you know. I'll put the link spicy. in the bio for you know, the website. You can go shop there. Definitely. All right, all right, all right. Kay's right. Follow me on IG, digitalvision.to. If you got a vision that you're trying to make clearer, then just holla at me. You know we're about to launch. Yeah. UBA clothing, y'all see the drip. It's the next wave. So y'all go follow that on IG too, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so cheesed because I completely forgot <laughs> about digital vision. There's literally that oh, in the middle that's of the episode. A, that's a, that's but day. I want to see, listen, you're not going to die. We're going to have you back on. You can do that again, right? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this has been another episode, of course. Uh, you can find me at D U U K E dot M on Instagram, and then of course, return to my podcast page. Send your questions, your emails, uh, anything, ROTM podcast at gmail.com. Thank you so much. See you guys in two weeks. Yeah. yeah.